Now, do you want to talk about how that idea came about and sort of what happened to how it evolved? Oh, I don't even know the issue numbers. It's been so long. But yeah, I used to be a Legion fan, and they were going to do a reboot back before they called them reboots. And believe it or not, I mean, you wouldn't think this from how nervous, how, how much they do it now, but DC was nervous about how a reboot would be accepted. But they were going to reboot the Legion, and they asked me to, to do it. And we even had a who's who piece published that had all that info. It was like a I reboot that. thing. Yeah. And then they, DC said, no, no re reboots. That, we don't want to do that. That's going to freak people out. Let's just work it into the new continuity. So we had to scratch all those plans. We had come up with new names for the Legion. We had all these designs that they had paid for, and they didn't want to waste the work, so they had Keith Giffen go away and come up with an idea. He was sort of running all the books at the time, the, the Legion-related books. And he came up with the idea that uh, the Legion and the books that were going currently would find a batch of people in tanks, stasis tanks, and young Legionnaires would come out of them. And that would be our team eventually. So they started that a few months early in the regular Legion book before they spun it off into Legionnaires. And there was going to be this debate about whether the young kids that came out of the tanks were clones, which seemed like the obvious answer, or whether the older people not in the uniforms were clones. And since it's out of continuity, I can say this now. I've said it before in interviews, but basically ours were the real ones. They had been kept in stasis by the Dominators, I believe. And they were the real Legionnaires, and the, the older people were going to be find out they were clones and have because it was this older series Legion, they could have identity crises and things like that. So it was going to eventually happen, but uh, I think Keith left the books before they could ever do that, and they just abandoned the whole idea. And eventually, we were all written out of continuity anyway. So And it was rebooted, then yes. again, and again, I think a fifth or sixth time after Probably, that. Yeah, I, I lost track. I, I read it for a couple of years after I left the book, but eventually I just I had to stop because I was frustrated with all of the stuff they were doing that and this probably happens to a lot of creators it was like oh they're doing it differently than we were planning and it just became hard well I found that like you know with the Dan Abden Andy Lanning stuff and then even Paul Levitz or Jim Shooter came back and I didn't like it Paul Levitz came back and I honestly didn't like it it just feel, it feels like no one was able to capture that spirit of the 60s Legion other than the one that you were doing with Keith Giffen and Tom and Mary and it just seems so logical that the concept being teenagers in the future with superpowers over the time was so lost that it would yeah. just seem logical to go back and do what you guys wanted to do, which was reboot it, right? I, I think so, and I don't know why they didn't, even with the New 52. That seems like the perfect time to have done it, and they just didn't. And uh, I, I still think they should, and um, you know, I would love to do it again. That's, that and Tom Strong are the books I think I could do for the rest of my career. I'd love to see you on both of them. One quick question, are there any sure. of those new Legionnaires that you had a hand in creating yourself? Yes, the, uh, there were three new ones. They had Jason Pearson, myself, and I believe Tom McCraw, who was coloring the books, all came up with a character. And Jason Pearson created Cat's Paw, and he and I designed her together. I designed Dragon Mage, who is the sort of Asian mystic guy. I love that character. Tom McCraw. I don't know if he designed her, but he had the idea for Computo being a regular member of the team. She's basically the teenage version of a child character they had in one of the Giffen era books. That's the story on them, on those. They wanted, they thought it would help us feel like we were more part of a team behind the scenes if we had a stake in, you know, creating new characters and stuff like that. And I, I will give the, that creative team credit for that. It was it really did feel like we were part of a team. It felt like the old Marvel bullpen kind of stuff where I was seeing Xeroxes of Jason's pencils when he'd turn them in and he'd see mine and I read all the scripts for both books and we were all in contact and it felt like we were all working on you know this this nice world of characters and it, it really felt like we were part of something and I didn't feel that again until the ABC Universe stuff and that was the same same deal you know Scott Doonbeer the editor kept us all up to date on what we were all doing and you know I think that's one of the reasons those two things were projects I'd go back to in a second is it just really felt different and special.